Hey guys, Andy at Fathom Offshore. So I want to talk to you a little bit about spreader bars in general. So primarily developed in the Northeast, spreader bars um, are most commonly seen with bulb squids. You're typically going to have some type of bar or bracing with a number of bulb squids or squids, um, even trolling lures sometimes, in a chandelier style drop. And the way that this works is most of these drops are unrigged with your center drop usually having a snap swivel in the back. And what this allows you to do is get a lot of baits in the water, a big bait presentation, um, highlighting your singular bait. You can connect dead bait to this, trolling lures, pretty much whatever you want. I've even seen guys connect spoons to them depending on the size of the bar. Um, but most bars set up are similar to what you're looking at here. There's things like braced bars, directional bars. This is a braced bar, for instance. Um, lots of different colors, lots of different sizes. Uh, so this is a bulb squid. Most spreader bars are utilizing bulb squids primarily for the fact that they're a good bit lighter. Um, they tend to sit on top of the water a little bit better. So this is primarily what you're used to seeing. Um, you can see an SR style squid or a solid rubber squid. Um, they're just a little bit heavier, sometimes stay in the water a little bit more. Um, but uh, most spreader bars are utilizing a bulb squid style uh, bait. Now I know they look a little bit daunting, especially something in the size of this, but remember they're not super heavy, so you don't need these big 130 reels to pull these things. Um, standard reels, offshore reels in the 30 to 50 configuration are perfectly fine depending on the size of the bar. Um, and I know this looks like a lot going through the water when you catch a fish on it, but to be honest with you, if it's drag for you, it's also drag for the fish. So the fish is fighting this bar back to the boat as much as you are. So it's really not that bad. It'll kind of help tire the fish out for you. And depending on the size of the tuna, I think we'd all accept a little bit of help sometimes. Um, so this is primarily your standard spreader bar configuration, but there's lots of different types. Um, this here is our agitator bar. Um, so it's a flexible bar, but it's the same type of configuration. It's singular drops. Um, that don't have any rigging on them to a snap swivel that you can connect your hooked bait to. So lots of different styles of spreader bars, lots of different colors, um, but they're super effective at getting a lot of attention um, to your baits. And uh, yeah, if you haven't tried them, definitely check them out. I know boats that are pulling multiple spreader bars, they're very flexible on where you can pull them. Uh, flat lines, outriggers, uh, bridge poles, um, shotgun down the middle, they're super flexible on where they can be pulled. Um, and they're very effective on catching fish. So definitely check them out if you got questions, let us know. Thanks.